फ्लेक्सिबल एसिड ट्रांसमिशन फॉर चैप्टर चैप्टर वन क्लास टू फिर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कवर द फैट्स डिवाइजेस सो इन द फैट्स डिवाइजेस बिफोर गोइंग टू टॉपिक सो व्हाई फैट्स डिवाइजेस व्हाट इज द नीड ओके दैट विल बी डिस्कस इन दिस टॉपिक here in the previous class okay we have studied about the facts as the need purpose oh now we are going to about the so what is the purpose in the facts devices in the transmission line what is the need okay why we have to use so this the uh, traditional transmission line distribution and generation and will be there okay here generation station what will happen here in the generation station so whatever we are generating station thermal hydrogen nuclear okay so from that one we'll get the uh, generation uh, that is 11 kv 33 kv 6.6 kv 3.3 kv okay in india we having also on the 33 kv generators also there in some uh, some power plants so from that we'll get the power is uh, whatever the power is developed so that will be generated power is there so that will be uh, transferred to the from 11 kv to 400 kv 750 kv okay depend so in the that will goes to the transmission line so in the transmission lines to that is the uh, whatever the sub uh, substations there okay that will be transferred from that one in the transmission line uh, transmission substation as well as here we having the in the, in the distribution so here also in the distribution so in the from transmission line substation to and distribution so here in this one what we are going we are not going to any control in there so if it is that is in a radial way so if it is any fault is occurred in this generator okay so if you are getting power from thermal hydro power plant so if in case if it is thermal power plant having the issues okay if it is issues with the whenever the if it is fault is occurred okay let us take so if it is any fault is occurred so if this any fault is occurred in this power plant so what will happen total whatever the uh, generation is there okay so here we are having consumer okay if consumer not get the if this generator is there okay so if it's single generation power will getting the power from so we are not getting it. so here if it is there. so do uh, for this one so if it is combined the in this case so here in the electrical grid system what we are going to do we are combining the hydel thermal nuclear station okay so here we have the grid so in the grid system what we are going to do is that so we are uh, what we are we doing that is so we are having the hydel power plant okay thermal power plant nuclear power plant wind power plant solar fuel cells okay another so from that one we are going to generate the power and we are going to put in that interconnected system so in the interconnected system from that one so wherever the demand is there okay from is that we are going to produce the we are transferring the that power okay so if it is uh, if it is take that okay so if it is thermal power and please it's shut down due to the technical issues so if it is mv technical issues, that is uh, the, uh, breakdown of turbine so due to the variation in the or coal okay if it is some issues if there so if it is in that cases we are going to get the power from wind nuclear hydel or solar okay so if it is solar power plant okay if we talk about the solar power so if it is solar power plant only available for the morning to evening session only okay in the evening sessions uh, power is not available for the solar power so whatever the storage is there okay from that storage we'll get okay battery supply from that one will get but whatever generation is not is there so at the cases what will happen whatever the demand is there okay so to achieve the demand we have to take the power supply from the another sources okay whatever the conventional non conventional so we are combining the, all the sources and we are making the one grid so from the grid so we are going to control the all the transmission lines okay so he in india we are having the five grids okay in india we are having the five grids so from the grid we are going to give the transmission okay uh, for different states so from uh, we are making the regions northern southern 
north uh, northeast north hood okay so for, uh, in that case we are going to make in the grids okay from the grid whatever the fault is occurred okay so that will be solved by the for region grid okay this power failure is there so if uh, if you talk about uh, south grid okay so in the south grid we are having the telangana okay andhra pradesh and tamil Nadu. okay we'll talk about the three states so in three states we are having the thermal power plant hydel power plant okay if we uh, if talk about telangana we are having thermal power plant hydel power okay if talk about the andhra pradesh we are also having the thermal power plant hydel power in both states uh, any uh, don't having the, any nuclear power plant. so in the tamil nadu state we having the nuclear power so if this nuclear power plant is there okay will give the more amount of power okay develop the more amount so if it is any cases so in the tamil uh, telangana and andhra pradesh having the any failure due to the some cases okay uh, if it is thermal power plant is shut down okay so breakdown so if it is false is due to the false condition so if, if um, demand is decrease that means power generation is decreases so what will happen to achieve the demand we need get the power supply okay so at that cases grid okay whatever the south grid is there so south grid get the power from the nuclear power plant and distribute to the whole the grid okay that is it here this so here this will be comes to the so if we we'll talk about the grid so here we having the natural gas generators okay nuclear hydel wind and solar farms okay so from that one whatever the uh, generation is there okay that will be collected that will be collected and distributed through the wherever the demand is high okay if it is demand is less so that will goes to the less power if it is demand is high that will goes to the higher power so we are having the different types of consumer industrial consumers domestic consumers okay so in dom uh, domestic we are having the single phase three phase okay uh, in single phase so whatever the household applications are that will goes to the single phase so coming to the three phase so we are having the farmers so in the uh, what we are having the farmers in we are using their motors so all are the three phase mode so for that one so please uh, if wanted to run the motors in three phase so we need three phase power okay so at that time so what they go to the just they will uh, give the power supply to the that line so remaining time they will uh, when wherever the demand is there okay the current will be flows to the okay so here grid is nothing but combining the all the energy so generating station okay and making the one controlling point from the controlling point we are going to distribute and transmit the power okay so transmit the power and control the utility okay so that will be controlled to the transmission line distribution line so grid what will do so if it is any fault is occurred okay so if it is this uh, house have in the fault is occurred okay so if it is fault is occurred that will be given to the regional one okay that will uh, that will be goes to the regional center so that will uh, uh, that information will be region center due to whatever the conditions there is so breakdown why happened the breakdown okay that will goes to the one and it will solve by the region. so in these cases okay if it is transmission okay if it's uh, in the transmission any fault is occur okay that will be goes to the signals goes to the grid system and that will be solved by the grid controlling okay so if it is of current voltage variations is there okay so that is also controlled by the this device so here why we are using fax devices means if it is any fault is occurred okay so in the transmission line hydel sorry transmission line distribution so if it is uh, due to the variation of conditions okay fault conditions or weather conditions okay so what will happen at that time we'll having the voltage drops okay due to the source to load or uh, impedance is having high okay so the transmission line impedance is high well, so what will happen voltage drops will be high so to decrease the voltage drops we need to achieve the so inject the voltage in this transmission okay that will do the 
facts divide so this is about the by using the facts device so in the before fact devices it will be in this way. so we are having the grid is there okay so transmission will goes there and distribution so while by using the grid means so this will be will there. okay so this is the picture of the power system by using the facts device so here we are having the uh, wind power plant okay transmission line substation hydro power plant nuclear power that will be common so at the side we are having the fact devices that will sense the wherever the uh, uh, data is there okay so at what time the power is increases demand is increased decreases okay how much generations develop okay where is the uh, if it is domestic purpose or industrial power so if it is power utilization high or less so based on that power is whatever the power is there okay that will be controlled in the grid okay so grid the fact is if it is voltage drops is there okay voltage drops current drops so false section okay that will be sensed by the fax devices if it is voltage drops is there that will be inject the voltage by using the fax devising controllers okay in the everywhere okay so in the transmission distribution we are using the fax devices okay if it is uh, voltage drops so we need to inject the voltage simultaneously so if it's manually do means so it will take the so by uh, by change it uh, by manually going to the transformer and increase the tappings okay that will be take the many time so if it is automatically operations okay we are going to using the fax device along with the transmission line okay that will do so in the monitor uh, grid section what they do is so will they collect the all the data okay from generator stations transmissions distribution and domestics so how power is going there okay that will be collected so they will collect the data if it is wherever the fault is occurred. okay how much efficiency the power is uh, transfer from generating station to cost consumers okay that will be calculated and that will be if it is any fault is there, that will be evaluated in the grid controlling system okay here the fax devices so fax devices what they do so if you talk uh, we are having the different types of fax so before going to fax devices so what are the losses we are having so why we are using the fax okay we have talked about the fax devices and part so here why we have to use okay without fax devices what will happen okay so in the transmission line, okay in the transmission line, we are having the conductor so in conductor we having the many number of conducts available for single circuit or double circuit okay if it is dc is there okay we are going to using the single line or double line okay so what will happen due to the symmetrical or symmetrical spaces between the conductors okay and weather conditions so what will happen so here whatever the impedance is on the transmission line okay so impedance on the transmission line due to that the voltage drops will be occur okay so voltage drop means so we need to transfer the 400 volts sorry 400 kv transmission lines so we need to transfer 400 kv okay so if it is uh, below 400 okay if it is 400 kv below if it is uh, voltage is flowing in the line what the mean so voltage drop is occurred in this transmission okay to achieve the drops okay we are going to using the fax device so fax devices what what they do the inject the voltage into the this transmission line whenever the required so here not only the voltage the fax device also inject the current in this transmission line okay if there is any variations is there okay that will be goes to the fax devices control the voltage and current in this transmission line okay so if we talk about the simply so here is the one path we are having the source okay so here we are having the one source we are having the one load okay so here whatever the source is there that is the ac so we talk about ac transmission angle so source we are having the one load so in the load so we are using the one 
one conductor so if conductor is a purely resistive okay purely less resistive so it doesn't have any any um, pure less resistive means it will having any other factors okay so if it is uh, having the five ohms okay if having the five ohms so what will happen what would the power will go that will be some losses will be there okay so here if it is a uh, above resistance increases okay if it is resistance increases what will happen whatever the current flow is there okay and voltage that will be dick effect on the load okay that will affect on the load so if we talk about the our domestic applications okay so if a domestic application we are we having so we having the 230 volts okay so we have to get the 230 volts and from the distribution line okay so distribution lines having the higher resistance okay then highway higher resistance means so whatever the voltage they send from the distribution line so that will be decreases so when we collect to the consumer okay from domestic so a similarly so if we talk about the impedance means so whatever they're having the load properties okay we're having the in uh we're having the resistance inductance okay resistance so r and l properties okay in the transmission okay we need to decrease that so to decrease okay completely we cannot be errors so we need to decrease that r and l that is resistance and index impedance so by combining the so impedance so we'll talk with r plus xl okay so r plus xl is there okay xl and xc our total is that impedance so what would the impedance that that is is nothing but a resistance so that we have to decrease in the transmission then in the voltage will be stably transfer from the transmission line to distribution line okay from distribution line to consumer so that will be achieved by the these fax device okay so fax device what they do so if it is any voltage drop is there in the transmission line. so they will simply inject the voltage okay if it is in the from distribution line okay if it is any current issues there okay they will simply inject the current in the distribution okay that's it simple so here while how you are controlling okay either you are connecting the parallel with the transmission line either you are connecting the series with the transmission line okay the based on that we are having the different types of fax device okay here so if it is transmission lines connected okay if this transmission is connected with the series that is a series control devices if it's connecting the parallel the transmission line that is a shunt connected controlling fast device okay if it is connected with the series and shunt okay that is a series and shunt connected controlling fast device. okay so if it is connecting series and series okay we are having the two devices that's also both are connected in a series series okay then it will be a series series control okay so here this will so in the series controlling connected fax devices we are having the thyristor control series capacitor okay in series we are having the thyristor control series capacitor okay tcs okay fax device name is thyristor control series capacitor so it is series means it will have in series. okay so if it is coming to the another one so static synchronous series compensator okay static synchronous series compensator okay both are the under the so it is a, so we'll, we are we are only showing the two devices so we are having the many other devices also there okay in the series in the shunt we are having the mainly whatever you are going to study in this one so that only displayed here so in the shunt we are having the svc okay static where compensate okay so in the another having the static synchronous compass so that is a start come if it is both are connected in a shed okay so for shed connected devices these are the series connected devices. okay another we having the series set okay one device connected in series another device connected in a parallel okay so here series devices okay and shed device so what they do so one is connected with the series and inject the voltage okay and is connected with the pal okay so based so that what which one inject the voltage which one 
inject the current okay that will be discussed right okay in the next slides so here these have been the devices one uh, both so inject the current and inject the voltage both done it from this device okay here we'll have to say that is a series series okay for series sent devices okay that is called a upfc unified power flow control okay for series series interline power flow controller so not only the series and shit. okay here is a based upon the connection okay here based upon the tyristor base controller or voltage source base so we have the tooth so here is a based upon the how we are connected in the factory so this is the based upon the which type of tooth okay either use tyristor base either based on the voltage source okay here tyristor base so tcsc svc okay tcs means tyristor control series capacitors okay svc means static wire components so both are the tyristor base okay if you coming to the voltage source base okay voltage source converters so voltage source coming base we are having the ss okay so that is the static synchronous series compensator static upfc ipfc so all are the voltage source base okay these are the tyristor base these are the voltage so based upon the connection we are having the series sent series sent series series okay based upon thyristor and voltage source converter we are having the different okay i hope uh, you get this some knowledge about the what is the facts why we are using the facts devices okay what is the purpose here based upon the okay so based upon the connection we are having the facts device based upon the how the connections so one is series controller shunt controller combined series series combined series and shunt so here series control okay so in the series control what they do so it is nothing but one power electronic device okay so here series control is one power electronic device so which will inject the voltage okay so which will so all uh, all devices connected with the series with the transmission line and inject the voltage so remember so here series voltage parallel current okay remember in series with going to inject the voltage in series parallel with the current okay we have to remember now come to the shunt control okay so shunt controllers so what they do so they will uh, based upon the impedance okay based upon the variable source the so it will inject the current into the transmission okay it will connect with the parallel or shunt so that will called as the shunt control so if it is transmission that will be connected to the parallel and that will be inject to the current into the this transmission line okay and also it will consume the variable reactive power here combine series series control okay here series so both uh, whatever the power electronic controllers we are using so both are connected in series okay so from that one they will one is inject the voltage okay how they do that so in the series control device what they do so it is a it will control the impedance of the series reactor okay so each also transfer real power so each line but also transfer real power among the lines via power link so whatever it is there so it will inject the voltage from this one series series so series that means it is voltage parallel means current okay it will inject the voltage into the this transmission line here in the combine the series and shunt control okay one is inject the voltage another inject the current okay so here combine the series and shunt control uh, inject the current into the system with the shunt part so in the shunt part while they do the shunt part do the inject the current and series part inject the current in the transmission line okay so these are so we are discussed about the this one so uh, we'll go for the 
So what are the shunt control connected controller, series connected controllers, combined series, series connected. Okay. So we are going to now first here is that. So what are the current injecting? Okay. So how shunt connected control devices? Okay. What are these? Okay. So whatever the uh, current injecting devices is there. So these are the current injectors. So here we are having the static synchronous generator, static synchronous components. So start cam and another is battery energy storage system, superconducting magnetic energy system, static wear compensator, thyristor control reactor, thyristor switched reactor, thyristor switched capacitor, static wear generator, thyristor control braking resistor. Okay. So these are the controllers which will having used as a connected to the a transform with the parallel so that will be whatever is there okay so if it is a voltage source so it will be used having the capacitor if it is current if it is start come okay so is these are the shunt so shunt means it will be going to inject the old uh, uh, current in the transmission line okay for if it, there are two types of sources, okay, converters that is voltage source converter and that is a thyristor control. So thyristor also called as a current source converter. Okay, so here voltage source we are using as a start cup, Okay, that is connected to the parallel the line. Okay, so we are going to inject the current in this one. So what we have to do? So we need to hook by using the static compensator. Okay static compensator so we are going to so static synchronous compensator we are going to inject the current in this one for the voltage so here for voltage so we have to using the capacitor okay here if you use the current console okay with the power electron which having the thyristor base okay so then we have to using the inductor base okay so difference so if it is a uh, voltage source is there one if it is a, a, a current source there, we have to use the another view okay so that will be where so it will be depend upon which type of converter you are using okay so here top talk, talk, uh, talk about static wear compensator okay static wear compensator or static wear generator okay so all are connected with this one if it is adjusted okay is this the here is the so here what you have to do these are the all are thyristors okay so that will inject the so either inject the power or inject the yeah so here we need to whose output is adjusted okay here we are having the transmission so this in uh, it will is nothing but here this graph okay so a symbol is nothing for the one transformer okay so transformer symbol it will be indicated with the so single line diagram for the transmission line and trans for that one we are going to inject this okay so how we are injecting the current or voltage okay here the shunt connector wire generator or observer whose output is adjusted or adjusted to exchange the capacitive or inductive current okay so capacitive or inductive so that will be injective or maintained by the this type okay static wear compensation okay that will be maintained by this svc okay so if you want to maintain the whatever the capacitive or inductive current is there okay that will be maintained by the svc okay so here tire control reactor that is a tcr or thyristor control tsr okay so for observing the so what they both do so here whatever the tcr rts so it will names were same okay one device so what they do so it will observe the reactive power okay for observing the reactive power and here ts so here this device so it this one is the observe the reactive power TAC supplying the reactive power 
okay one is observe the whatever the line is there okay so if it is line is there so if it is having the higher reactive power is there okay that will be observed by the this one and here it will supply the to maintain the old uh, reactive power okay so this will be one is observed one is give supplies okay that is a so comparing to the start come so here is the start come, right so from this also we are going to inject the same okay so but comparing to start come s field okay static wear compensator is less cost okay so comparing to this this start come okay svc is the less cost okay so we are having the series connected controllers okay so a series connected controllers we are having the static synchronous static synchronous series compensator interline power flow okay thyristor control series capacitor thyristor switched series capacitor thyristor control series reactor okay thyristor switched series react so these are the types okay so here so we'll now discuss so what we are studied okay what are the okay so 